Hey, good evening. Y'all, this is Pastor Mike, and this is Three Minutes with Mike. I was reading Matthew chapter 24 this week, and it's called the Olivet Discourse. Uh, and this is just right after the triumphal entry, and it's just days before Tragic Friday, uh, where Jesus dies on the cross. And this is one of the last occasions that he's going to have to be teaching uh, his followers, his disciples. And I, I'm just thinking about all the things that Jesus could have spoke about. He could have talked about uh, the redemption story. Uh, he could have talked about salvation. He could have talked about the mystery of the Trinity. Uh, he could have talked about uh, all kinds of mysteries of faith, but he doesn't. Uh, what he does is he begins to talk about what the disciples are going through and what they are thinking. Um, because although they know that, you know, a sacrifice is on the way, cross is coming, but they don't know all the ins and outs and what's going to happen to them. So they're scared. So they are anxious. Uh, so they are confused. They are uncertain. They are undone. And uh, they're unsure. And the Bible says this. It says, uh, he went to the, to the Mount of Olives. The disciples came to him privately saying, hey, Jesus. Tell us when these things will be and what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age. Now, King Jimmy doesn't say necessarily the end of the age. He says the consummation of the age. And Jesus said, see to it that no one misleads you. For many will come in my name and saying, I am the Christ and will mislead many. And you will be hearing wars and rumors of war. See that you're not frightened for those things must take place. But it said in the end yet. For the nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and in various places there will be famine and there will be earthquakes. But all these things are merely the beginning of birth pangs. Uh, then they will deliver you to tribulation, will kill you, and you will be hated by all nations on account of my name. And at that time many will fall away and will deliver up one another and hate one another. Uh, Y'all, when, when we look at that word, the end of the age or the consummation of the age, uh, Y'all, consummation is when the man and the wife come together uh, in intimacy, in union. And what, what happens when a man and a, uh, a husband and a wife will come together and consummate a marriage? The end goal of that is a new life, is a birth. Uh, I think it's interesting how Jesus says uh, at the consummation of the age, and then he ends up with that these are just birth pains. Y'all, the church, the bride of Christ, will join with Christ in intimacy, in consummation, I believe before great tribulation occurs, before the greatest earthquakes, before the greatest wars, before the greatest famines, before the greatest times of pestilence, the church will be raptured. And at the end of a period, the gestation period, the end of this tribulation, that will be the birth pain of what comes next. So church, I believe that we are in that time where uh, we're just waiting for the wedding bells to chime. We're waiting for here comes the bride to be played. Uh, so church, don't be scared. Don't be frightened. Don't be anxious. Don't be uncertain. Uh, Jesus is telling us uh, that the consummation of the church, the bride and the bridegroom are coming together very soon. You know, I'm not worried about the earthquakes. I'm not worried about the pestilences. I'm not worried about uh, what's going on in Beirut or the Middle East because I know what happened on that hill 2,000 years ago, uh, the plan of redemption and uh, the, the blood that was spilled to give me and you salvation. Church, rest in that blessed hope. God bless you. Hope to see you Saturday night at 5 o'clock at the drive-in service. If it's raining, we'll be doing it at inside. We have two Sunday morning services, 9 o'clock for high risk and 1030 uh, for everyone else. God bless you. Hope to see you soon. And we'll see you back in Illinois before you know it. God bless.